Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arca Studio. Today we have some important tutorial about the uh, Enscape interior rendering setting. So, before we start this video, please support us with your beautiful subscribe. Let's get to work. I'm gonna minimize my Camtasia and now I'm gonna open the uh, Enscape environment as you can see in here. So, this is the environment that we have. It's totally simple. Uh, and I'm gonna convert my rendering quality to the draft mode in here. So I can walk in the environment as you can see. Very simple. This is the kitchen that we have in here. Money door in this place. The interior of the house. And this is the outside. So I use the HDRI for my outside design as you can see. Very simple. One texture. And I expand it in the curved face in here. And I have some tips about the uh, daylight rendering. So let's get to work. First of all, if I want to convert my daytime to the uh, night mode, as you can see, we have some simple lights in here. For example, one sphere light inside this floor lamp in this place and some self illuminated materials in here and everything is done for us. But how we can improve the uh, lighting? So today I'm going to talk about the uh, daylight rendering. So. For this reason, I'm going to change my time to the daylight, but I have some curved face behind my side and I don't need it because we don't uh, took some render in this type of camera position. For this reason, I'm going to minimize the Enscape in here. I'm going to orbit in my SketchUp environment as you can see. I'm going to get a little bit to the far side and delete this curved face in here. So. After I deleted this, as you can see, some type of sun traces come inside my house and it's really wonderful. So uh, I'm going to start my job with the uh, save frame and I'm going to press F on my keyboard and click on the create view option. So the pitch is about zero because I need some straight camera and the AI is about 360 degree and my exposition is not important. And the Y is really important. The Y position in the Enscape camera setting is your eye height. So watch out when you add some numbers on it. I think some number about 1.3 can be really good. So I change my position a little bit. I'm going to type 1.2 and press enter. Or I can go to the fly mode and change my Y number. So it's a 1.3 and the Z is about negative 2.9 and the X is about 1.34 and the pitch is about 0, the Y is about 360 degree and I don't want to link any visual preset on it. So the name of this I'm going to call it for example camera C1 and add it to my favorite shots. So. I'm going to play with the sun position, so I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and right click and move my cursor a little bit. And some number about 8 am can be really good, but I don't have any sun in my environment. For this reason, I'm going to hold Ctrl and press U or I to change my sun position. As you can see, this is the sun that we have in here, so when I reduce the time of the day, the sun will be directly come inside my house. It's something near to the morning, but I don't want to see these type of shadows. So I'm going to change it a little bit, something like that. Something like this can be really professional. Or you can add some straight light on your job. So you can change it from here, from the altitude and azimuth. I'm going to convert altitude to the zero degree. And maybe three degree can be really good. Something like that. And the azimuth is about 180 degree or 83 degree. It depends on you and your taste. Very simple and easy. You can add these type of lights in your environment and click on the create option. So when I click on the camera C1, my sim will be converted to my favorite daylight. So I'm going to minimize this screen here, add my SketchUp environment to the half of my screen and now time for materializing. 
very fast and easy I'm gonna change some important materials in my environment so I'm gonna open the paint bucket at the first and at the second I'm gonna click on the uh, Enscape material editor I'm gonna move it a little bit to the downside I'm gonna use the uh, sample paint and pick my first material that I want to change and this is the main material of the cabinets so I can remove the texture because I don't want to see some type of brown colors on it and the roughness is about 10 and the metallica is about 0 so now I have some type of highlighted material in here and the specular is about 56 percent so the next material is my refrigerator so I'm gonna click on the sample paint in here and I'm gonna pick this main material of my fridge as you can see the roughness is about 26 percent and the metallica is about 56 I need some mate color for my material so the sample paint I'm gonna click it again and select this body in here I can completely change the color for example something near to the dark gray and now it's much better because you can see the contrast and differences in your environment and if I want to don't see these type of shadows in my screen I can come to the uh, SketchUp environment that I have in here and click on these doors and fences and right click and hide it so very simple we remove these type of uh, disturbing shadows in our environment so I'm gonna click on the uh, Enscape material editor sample paint in here and now I'm gonna pick up the uh, floors material at the both side living room and kitchen so I'm gonna start my job with the kitchen I picked it up now we have some bump map in here when I increase it as you can see we can see the waves and changes in our texture so be careful with this number I think one is really good and when I click on the main texture I can rotate it a little bit to the right side as you can see now it's much better and clear and the size of it can be improved with the one and one so now it's much better you can control it very simple and easy it depends on you and what you want to render so some number like that can be really good I'm gonna click on the backup option I'm gonna reduce the roughness as I can to some number about 10% and the metallic color is about zero so the next material is the chairs so I need some reflection on our chairs for this reason I'm gonna click on the sample paint move it a little bit to this side and click on the sample paint and pick this color up so the roughness is about 10 and it's really good I can change the color to be a completely white or completely black it depends on you I prefer to use black option to see the best contrast of the right side of my image and the left side of my image so the Metallica is about zero and the uh, Spectra is about 58 percent so everything is done right now so I'm gonna click on the sample paint and I'm gonna check some other materials for example this golden header on the uh, light so I'm gonna click on it and convert all of them to the white color and I think it can be get much Metallica so I'm gonna change the roughness to the zero and Metallica to the 80 percent now it's much realistic and much better so I'm gonna click on the sample paint again and pick this color as my last material I want to edit so it's about 50 is good and the color can be get a little bit golder so I'm gonna click on the gold coloring here so everything is done right now for me I only want to adjust my sun position because it's really important for me so I'm gonna click on the uh, visual setting in here click on the output option and change my resolution to your custom mode and add some 101 resolution for myself so the score image is the best aspect ratio that we have in this render as you can see 
Now I'm going to click on the main bar in here and decrease the field of view for zooming on my target. As you can see, I can zoom a little bit and some number about 46 can be really good. So everything is done right now for me. I can control the exposure and other things, but right now I don't need them. So I'm going to come back to my environment and I'm going to play with the sunlight. I think I can improve it a little bit much better than something that we have in here right now. So something near to the morning can be really good or I can change it at the uh, during day and play with the uh, some position in this place. I'm going to click on the visual setting, the skybox and convert all of the cloud setting to the zero to see the best tracing of the light inside my house. So I'm going to reduce it a little bit, for example, 10 and hold my sun position to see the differences. All right. Now it's much better as you can see. So uh, I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting in here. Outline is completely zero because we don't need it. And if you add outline on renders, your render will completely destroy. So I'm going to increase the depth of field, turn off the autofocus and play with the uh, focal point for example i want to focus on these lights in here or the end of this cabinet in here it depends on you i think 6.58 can be really good and the percent is about six percent i only want to feel it a little bit in my environment so i'm going to click on the image bar use the auto contrast for my colorizing if I want warmer in there, I can decrease the color temperature. Something like that, for example. Or 6000 Kelvin is really good. Motion blur is not important. And the lens flare. When I increase the bloom option, as you can see, we will fade in the camera setting. So, I prefer to use 4% and the lens flare is about 19%. The wignate is about 10% and chromatic abbreviation is about zero. So atmosphere is not important, so I'm gonna convert fog to the zero, and some brightness can be a little bit decreased in my environment, for example, 72. Now I focus on this floor, and uh, if I want to tell the truth, I didn't like these type of waves on my texture. So I'm gonna minimize my screen in here, Pick this texture in here, open the Enscape Material Editor, like that. Sometimes you must double click on your sample paint. All right. And I'm going to remove the uh, textures bump completely and now it's much better. So I come back to the uh, SketchUp environment and remove these two rugs in here because I really don't like them or I can save only one of them for all of my kitchen. So I'm going to click on the scale option and rescale it a little bit. Something like that. And I can move it a little bit to the forward. Something like this. All right, now it's much better. So I'm going to come back to the Enscape environment that I have in here and click on the uh, visual setting. So at the image bar, everything is done and the atmosphere. For the inside renders, you can use soft shadows. So you can decrease the shadow sharpness as you can, and it helps you to create these type of sh soft shadows in here. So some number about zero is really good and artificial light brightness helps you to increase the artificial interior light powers very simple and easy but you can't feel it right now because it usually work at the night renders so 124 percent is good and the ambient brightness when i increase the ambient brightness you can see a little bit brightness inside your house and it helps you in the daylight rendering so some number about 66 percent is good and the wind is about zero the sky is done for us and output done for us. 
So now I can increase the exposure a little bit. Some number about 58% is really good and close my Enscape. So I'm going to click on the Enscape material editor and click on the sample paint in here and pick the wall color for myself. So look at this screen that we have in here. When I convert it to the white, it totally get white and we can see the contrast in our renders. But when I convert it a little bit darker, as you can see now we have better result in the rendering. So be careful about your lights. For example, wheat cannot be really good for this image that we have in here. But for example, full black is completely destroy your render. So some number like the uh, dark gray can be really useful in our render. Uh, like that. And the roughness is about 40% and the aspect was about 58%. So I think everything is done right now and I want to render my image. So I'm going to close it and go to the uh, Enscape environment. And now I'm going to click on the uh, screenshot in this place. So I'm going to save it on my desktop and call it interior render number one and save it it takes a little bit time and depends on your system and it completed down for me and now you can see the result of it in here uh, i hope you enjoy this video guys thanks for your watching i will upload my rendering setting for you below this video like and subscribe us and goodbye